Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be terraforming Proxima Centauri um, B I think this is called it is Proxima Centauri B yes and this is the nearest um, solar system near, near the sun obviously our solar system so you obviously have the small star it has which is about uh, an eighth of the mass of the sun a lot less bright and a lot cooler which means this planet only has an orbit of around two weeks well a week and a half but as you see here it does reflect quite a lot of light and it doesn't really have an atmosphere so how could we you know make an atmosphere well we need quite a lot of like asteroids so let's just find random rock particle I guess send that uh, let's just fill this with water. I guess you cannot fill random rock particles with water. Rest in peace, then. Okay, let's see this rock. So let's, that should add its core. So it should have a core now. Let's send a random small moon, you know. So turn this to a random small moon. Let's send a random small moon. Okay, maybe not speed timer. And um, what we want to do is we want to fill this moon with water and make it to atmosphere. So let's just pretend like a random rock just um, hit it. And yeah, it has one of atmosphere. It's obviously all light. It's full of water. So this is, I know this seems sort of random, but this is it probably one of the only ways this planet could ever become habitable so now it obviously has iron in it a bit more which means it should have a magnetic field so now that it has a magnetic field it will be all right see it should start having water now because of the atmosphere because the atmosphere on the moon will now have that thin atmosphere when the mass of the earth it won't be that strong be the mass of the earth so here only problem is it's not that habitable, it will only have a small amount of water. Yeah. Its sea level is a tiny and it's frozen, which makes it practically impossible for life on the planet. So, that, but because of its atmosphere, it would probably use up quite a lot of light. So, I'll see you back when it's fully heated. Bye. If you want to send another maybe random moon some random moon fill up with water a bit of water we don't want any of the silicon we want iron as well a thick iron car and yep yeah, that's what we want we want this to give it a stronger iron core and a bit more water should also heat it up a bit so now we have a lovely beautiful boiling hot planet with quite a lot of iron its water is quite high which means it probably have quite a strong magnetic field and because of that huge amount of iron it won't reflect as much obviously its atmosphere won't take that much up but yeah you see its atmosphere over time gets a bit thicker, strong surface pressure. But yeah, I see you back when it's cooled again. Its orbit is now 11 days, same thing, but I see you back again. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Um, so, a lot of happened since most the ice melted. And it has quite thick, you know, oceans. Um, yeah, quite heavy oceans. So, it does have quite some massive pores but most of the time quite habitable if we check here how livable it is for life it is 61.3 percent and the similarity f is 97 percent meaning there's a 61 percent chance that life could form in this naturally and compared to the other planets in its solar system like for instance d it has a much higher zero percent so yeah, and there's also Proxima Centauri 
believe, which is quite far out. A gas giant, so obviously that would have 0%. Ugh, ugh, I couldn't imagine loving Jupiter. So yep, we have a habitable planet. I just wanted to make it nicer, we could probably drain out the oceans, because we would not move this solar system for quite a while. So, yeah, we could just 10 kilometer. Nice oceans. Yep, and that's a habitable planet. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.